G'day, I'm Scott from the Canon Collective. Over the years of shooting portrait photography, I've worked out the go-to portrait kit. So I'm gonna go through all the details in this unpack series. First things first, I always run around with my EOS R. It's the camera of choice. Uh, the main focus for me is always having this battery grip because in portrait photography, I'm always shooting with a battery grip in portrait orientation. This is just a, an option for me to change my grip so I've got better ergonomics. So when I'm shooting all day, I'm not having to switch or have my hand up like this the whole time. I have the ability to shoot much more comfortably like this with all my controls on the camera. I have a range of lenses that I like to use, so let's go through into the bag and pull out a few of the options and discuss what we use. So my main three options would be the 85mm, the 50mm and the 35mm. Now I also really like this particular lens here, this is the 40mm 2.8. This is the perfect little pancake street photography lens to take out and, and travel around with. And I've taken some really, really popular shots and one of a favourite of mine on this lens, just walking around the streets of Sydney. Another very popular lens to use for, for portrait photography is the 70 to 200 2.8. This lens travels with me everywhere I go. It's the go-to lens that I use for getting that nice tight compression when I'm shooting portraits. But it's good for all sorts of photography. Being 2.8, it's nice and wide open. I can shoot in all available lighting conditions and just create that really creamy background around the portraits as well. Next up is the 24 to 105. This option's a really versatile lens. Uh, great if you're traveling around. So I do a lot of travel photography as well. And when I'm doing portraiture with that, this is the go-to lens because it's giving me a whole variety. I can do my really wide scenes to have a nice environmental portrait, but then I can go in nice and tight to 105 and just knock that background out and create a stunning portrait. And it's all in the quick, swift change of my hand when I'm shooting. One of the most important things for my portrait kit is a reflector. This I use for all sorts of varieties of shots. It can block out the light completely, or I can use it to bounce light and reflect that light onto the subject. So if you're in a certain situation where you just don't have enough light, maybe there's a lot of shade that you're under, use this, it's my little sun bouncer that I get in there and I just throw that light straight on the subject. Uh, this one here has got the gold and silver and on the other side it's white. So you can really adapt and change the way that that light lands on the subject as well. Or you might need to even go in with a, a flash on the camera. This is one of the perfect things to have in your kit. So a Canon 600 speed light, I call this a uh, sun in a can. I can take this wherever I go. If that sun's completely gone and I've got a completely cloudy day, I might put this on top of my camera and be able to take really nice shots and make my subject stand out. So a lot of people love to shoot portraits in cloudy situations because it's nice, soft, consistent light. But I like to put a flash on in those situations just to get that sparkle back in the eyes. One of the most important tips when shooting portraiture is to always focus on the eyes. Another really important thing I always carry in my bag is a Bluetooth speaker. The speaker's a really good thing. If you're doing a portrait session and you've got someone that you're, you're photographing, it's great to be able to put the music on and actually start to create a bit of a scene and an atmosphere and a bit more of a fun, enjoyable uh, atmosphere to work in. If it's very quiet and still the whole day that you're shooting, everyone's just gonna be a little bit stale. We wanna put that music on, maybe even ask the model or the subject to request their favorite song so they can have a little bit more upbeat attitude and, and a bit more fun when they're shooting. Thanks for looking through my portrait kit. Don't forget to check out the website for all the other unpacked videos.